Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we finally have our new version of Microsoft Edge for desktop version 108. And according to the release schedule, version 108 should have rolled out late last week, but nonetheless, better late than never. And this latest release was made available on the 5th of December, which was late yesterday in my region. Now, according to the actual release notes, there's not too much actually going on with this latest update. Most of the um, improvements are um, related to security, and that's taking place behind the scenes, which we'll get to in a moment. Um, but there are one or two new little features that have rolled out which I have found and rolled out with version 108 in my region, which I have spoken about previously when they were being tested in Microsoft Edge Canary, which is a preview version of the browser. Now, um, just to take you to the first feature and in no particular order, the first little improvement is regarding the sidebar. And if we head to customize sidebar after you have upgraded to version 108 of Microsoft Edge, you will see now under add a site, over and above adding your current page, you also have top sites which you can add and these were actually listed as little um, productivity tools regarding social media that you could toggle on and off and now you can actually add that top site to the side the sidebar as a productivity tool and a quick action button and it says uh, you can add any site or web page to your sidebar add your current page or select a top site below and i actually posted on this just a couple of days ago when it was being tested in edge canary and i did say there was a good chance it would roll out to the stable version and here we go a couple of days later and we have those top sites now available um in microsoft edge version 108 and um there is one or two little features missing but nonetheless most of that is now available for this latest release for desktop and then the second new feature if we just head back to the settings menu and we head over to the appearance page here we get some improvements to the forward button which i also mentioned previously when this was being tested in edge canary now the forward button and um, the default setting in the stable version um, it says the forward button auto appears in the toolbar when it's possible to go forward. So as an example, you can see there's no forward button available. So if I head back, you'll see as soon as there's a page to go forward to, the forward button appears and then I can go backwards and forwards. Now, as mentioned, that is not displayed by default. So now we have a new setting where if you click on that little drop down fly out menu, the default is show automatically, then you can always show and now you'll see that forward button is always displayed and I actually think that's a nice improvement because I like to see that forward button all the time. And when there is no page to go forward to, although the button is displayed, it's grayed out. But nonetheless, and that will now um, show, as mentioned, um, it will now um, always show and then you have show automatically. So those are two little improvements I have noticed that did roll out with version 108. Now, um, just to get into the security side of things, because um, there are... Um, a whole lot of different security fixes that have rolled out and also as mentioned at the beginning of the video there are one or two security improvements and just to mention these quickly and um, there is a new smart screen library available that was previously only available for windows and mac users and now is available in microsoft edge version 108 for linux users so if you are using the browser on linux that smart screen library now has been um, updated so that's a bit of a security improvement and then there's a new policy um, TLS encrypted client hello enabled. Now this is also a kind of behind the scenes policy which will enhance the security of the browser and it's also known as ECH which stands for encrypted client hello which helps basically enhance your privacy and um, this a new feature is basically an upgraded um, version of TLS which is um, transport layer security and helps protect the server name indication SNR for short and I have actually posted on this previously on the channel so if you would like a little bit more info you can just do a search for that so two little security and privacy improvements taking place behind the scenes now to get into those all important security updates and as I always mention your browser is your first line of defense and one of these security updates addresses an exploit that is already exploited in the wild. So it's a zero day and it's currently out there and it's active and it's happening. So very important to double check your browsers up to date. And as always, we head to the menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And if the, br the browser hasn't updated automatically, this will force and push the update to the latest version and build, which is finally on version 108.0.1462. 
0.42. So that's what you need to be on to get the new features mentioned in this video and these all important security updates. Now just to um, talk about the security updates quickly. They are more or less the same that have rolled out to uh, Google Chrome over the last week or so and to the other Chromium based web browsers. And there are for Microsoft Edge with this update, there are 26 security fixes addressing 26 vulnerabilities. 23 of those security fixes are chromium based so that's for the open source chromium platform which the browser is based on and three of those are edge specific so that's for the actual microsoft edge web browser and those three edge specific um, fixes that that address three vulnerabilities in the actual edge browser are elevation of privilege vulnerabilities that have been addressed and um the um, exploit in the wild is a type confusion in the v8 javascript engine now just to focus on this little exploit in the wild and um, when a zero day is out there and um, they term it exploited in the wild which means it's currently active and happening so if you don't make sure and double check that your browser is up to date and update your browser sooner than later and um, there could be a good chance especially if you visit dodgy websites that your browser could be compromised so double check your browser is up to date and it just takes a couple of seconds and as i always mention it is your first line of defense and this will force the update as mentioned to address that zero day vulnerability in the wild and then 26 security vulnerabilities have be been addressed in total so that's it that's more or less what's new in this latest version of 100 uh, microsoft edge version 108 and as mentioned um those little enhancements to the top sites and that forward button which now can be be displayed permanently in the the toolbar of the browser so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one